Hi guys, welcome to TechBase. In this video, we're going to talk about how to enable the new volume slider location setting in Windows 11 in the latest Dev and Better channel builds. So of course, in this video, I'm going to show you how to enable it and how you can use it. If you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. First of all, we're going to have to set up Vivetool on our computer. Just get Vivetool from the article below in the video description and make sure you get the latest version .zip, for example, in Intel and AMD in this case. I'm just gonna get it and then we can open it using the File Explorer. Inside File Explorer, click on Extract All, click on Browse and make sure you extract it into a dedicated folder. For example, I have here a folder called Hidden Features. I'm just gonna extract things here and also I'm gonna copy the location because we're gonna need it whenever we are running the commands. Click on Extract, click on Replace the Files in the Destination and we are good to go. This is how easily you set up Vive 2 on your computer. Now, we're gonna have to open up the CMD, type in the search box CMD and then click on One as Administrator. On user account control, of course, click on yes. Inside CMD, type in CD and then the location where you extracted Vivetool. And then you're going to have to type in one command, which is Vivetool slash enable slash ID 48103152. Then press enter and you should receive the message successfully set feature configuration. A huge shout out to Phantom of Earth on Twitter or x.com for providing the ID and information about this new feature. You can check him out from the pinned comment below. And also you're going to find this command in the article below. So you can just copy and paste it from there. Now we can exit from the CMD and then we can restart our computer for the changes to take effect. So after the restart, let me just show you how the brightness and volume flyout looks right now. It is basically in the bottom center of the screen. It is pretty nice. It has nice animations, of course, but we can now move it after we enabled this feature. To do that, we're going to have to open up the settings app, go into the system section, scroll down to notifications, and then at the bottom of the notifications page, you should see this new option, indicators from keyboard actions, position of on-screen indicators, volume, brightness, and other controls will appear in this location. And from here, you can select top left, top center, and so on. So for example, top center looks something like this, and top left looks like this. As you can see, it is looking pretty good. In my opinion, I like it the best on top center, but of course, you can play around with these settings and see what works best for you. Don't forget, this new feature can only be enabled on the latest dev and better channel belts. And of course, make sure to check out the article below for Revive Tool, the command used, and additional information. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Zoom out here from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.